Hey guys, I'm Chris from Chris and Media. Today, we're here with RealBe and we're gonna show you how to change a tire. Let's get started. Now, there are many situations where you may need to change your tire. Today, we're gonna to be showing you how to change out your spare tire. The first step is you wanna locate your scissor jack here and your hand tools. Now, what we're gonna go ahead and do is make sure that our scissor jack is located on a flat surface, a level ground under your vehicle. You wanna make sure it's not on gravel or grass, something that is safe and secure. You also wanna make sure that your vehicle's parking brake is also engaged. You can take your hand tool here, make sure that while your tire is still touching the ground, you wanna go ahead and break those lug nuts free. But thankfully, we are using today our Ryobi half-inch impact wrench here, and we can do that once the tire is in the air. So we'll go ahead and take our Ryobi half-inch impact, and we will also use this to raise our scissor jack up. Now, with the scissor jack, there's a little channel that is in the top of it. You wanna go ahead and make sure that is on the pinch weld of your vehicle. On this vehicle, there's an arrow that shows us exactly where to put it. So we're gonna go ahead and take our half inch impact here and slowly start to raise up our scissor jack, making sure it is properly placed, adjust as need be. Once you see that it's set in that channel, you can go ahead and raise up your vehicle. Okay, and now for added safety, we're gonna go ahead and take one of our jack stands here, place it under the vehicle, raise it up to those pinch welds as well. There's a safety pin here. You go ahead and place that through our jack stand. And now we wanna make sure that our car is resting on that jack stand. So we're gonna go ahead and lower down our scissor lift just a little bit. And now our car is resting on the jack stand. Okay. So next, what you wanna go ahead and do is loosen up those lug nuts. We're again going to use our Ryobi half inch impact wrench here, and we're going to be working in a star pattern, which means we're gonna start at this first lug nut, and from there, work on the one farthest away from it. So let's go ahead and loosen up this first one. Okay, we got this first one off, put this off to the side, go to the farthest one away in this star pattern. Loosen that guy up, take that off, put these off to the side. You don't wanna lose those. Go ahead and move on to our next one here, this one here. Put it off to the side, and our last one. Now while we're doing this, we wanna hold onto the tire as it may shift and move away from the vehicle. So we got that loosened up. We'll go ahead and put our impact wrench off to the side, take our tire, and safely move it away from the vehicle. From that point, you wanna go ahead and take your spare tire, move it over to your car. You wanna make sure the holes line up with your studs. Put your foot against it just to rest it and hold it, hand tighten our lug nuts here. Now we can go ahead and take our Ryobi half inch impact here and we could lower the car back down. Make sure again that our scissor jack is still sitting in that channel. We lowered it before, so we're gonna raise it a little bit right now. Now we can safely remove our jack stand by taking out the safety pin, lowering the jack stand, moving it away from the vehicle, and now we can safely and slowly lower our vehicle down. Okay, from there, we're gonna go ahead and take our torque wrench right here, and we wanna to torque down these lug nuts. To do so, you wanna reference your owner's manual and make sure that they are torqued down to your vehicle specifications. This car right here calls for 100 foot-pounds, which we have our torque wrench set for, so we're gonna go ahead and place these on our lug nuts here. And again, we wanna make sure in a star pattern, we snug these lug nuts down to the vehicle. So we'll start at this one here. Once we hear that click, we know we are good. Got our click, move on to our next one. Got a click there. Okay, and just like that, our tire is now snugged up and torqued to spec. All right, now that our tire is on our vehicle, we want to also make sure that our spare tire has the proper PSI, the proper air pressure in it. You can go ahead and find out what air pressure your tire should be at by looking at your door jam or looking for the OEM manufacturer specifications on your tire. This spare tire calls for 60 PSI we will grab our Ryobi dual function inflator. We'll go ahead and remove our valve cap here, take the hose off of our inflator as well, and properly fit this to our valve stem. Get that nice and snug. Now you hear a little bit of air escape. That's totally fine and totally normal. On the front of the unit here, we'll power it on. You guys can see now that there are multiple modes. This arrow here is pointing to the tire. That's what we're doing. We're inflating a tire, so we'll leave it on that mode. And it shows us that it is at 57 PSI. We're gonna go ahead and bump that up with the plus icon to 60 PSI and just click start and it will automatically inflate our tire and stop once it reaches 60 PSI. And just like that, our tire has proper pressure in it. We're gonna go ahead and remove our hose here, take our cap that we did not misplace, snap it right back on here, screw that into place, and that's pretty much it. 
That's how easy it is to use some Ryobi tools and change out your tire for your spare. Now, we wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Chris from Chris Media, and we will see you guys in the next one. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.